Welcome to the Bredo family. This is going to be a little bit of a different video. So this past week, Braxton from Trinity Radio asked seven questions to Christian YouTubers. And well, I'm a Christian and I'm a YouTuber, so I figured I would take a moment to answer the questions. What I love about this is it's going to give me an opportunity to do something that I don't normally get to do on my channel. And that is explaining what it means to me to be a Christian. So I'm excited. Let's get right into these questions. Question number one is exactly that. What do you mean when you say you are a Christian? When I say I'm a Christian, I mean that I'm a believer and follower of Jesus Christ. This is the same Jesus Christ that you find in the scriptures, in the Bible. My hope as a Christian is that I will become more like Christ the more that I learn about him. So my goal through my life is to become more like Christ, to be a follower of Jesus Christ. Question number two is what is the purpose of your channel? Well, on this channel, we make videos on missions, ministry, and motherhood. And in doing that, we try to weave a little bit of the Christian worldview or our life as Christians into the content that we make, the videos that we make. So through our videos, we try to weave Christ-like living into the videos and also just show what it looks like to serve in ministry or to be a missionary overseas. Question number three, and this one was a little confusing. I'm going to read it. To what extent do you include considerations about content in your spiritual life, seeking prayer guidance? I'm not 100% sure what this means, but I'm going to try to answer it. So we try to be as genuine as possible, um, which means if we are in the midst of ministry and we pray, then oftentimes we might put uh, an excerpt of that. If we're teaching, we put an excerpt of our teaching as well. And so what I love is that through the vlog style that we do, we are also able to be witnesses. We are able to put biblical content and scripture into our videos for our viewers as well. So that who knows, maybe someone stumbles across our channel and that might be a witness to them. We also try to share some thoughts on our faith journey, on our walk with Christ, on the struggles, the reality, the, the highs and lows, and how we can trust in God in all of those situations. Question number four. If someone asks you why they should be a Christian, what would you say? First, because in Christ is where I find my hope. You should be a Christian or choose to follow Christ because without him, you're constantly in this, this hamster wheel of trying to do good, be good, be accepted, be enough. And the fact is we can't. But the great news is that Christ was enough for us. Because of Christ, I am accepted and I am redeemed. And that has nothing to do with anything that I am striving to do. Jesus came to earth to give us a way to get to heaven, to give us a way to be forgiven so that we don't have to strive and do works and try to do the best because Jesus paid it all for us. He did that on the cross to save you and me. Reason number two, because Jesus states in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father except through me. You should be a Christian because loving Jesus, knowing Jesus is the only way to get to heaven. That's why you should be a Christian because God gave you a gift. The one and only way for someone to go to heaven is through knowing Christ. So that's why you should be a Christian because God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, Jesus Christ that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. You should be a Christian because you should know Christ and follow him. And because he is the only way to get to heaven, to be with the father. Question number five, what Christian beliefs and or commitments do you think are essential for salvation? I believe that as stated in Romans 10, 9, and 10, that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. 
For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you confess and are saved. I believe that this is all that is necessary for salvation. I believe in Christ. I believe that Jesus is 100% God and 100% man, that Jesus came to earth. He was sent to earth by the Father, that he walked on earth and lived a perfect life without sin. And I believe that he died on the cross in my place. He took the place of my sins, what I deserved. Because the Bible says that the wages of sin is death. Because of my sin, because of all of the wrong that I do, I deserve death. But Jesus took what I deserve and paid the price for me. I believe that he conquered death through his resurrection and that all who believe in Jesus will have eternal life in heaven. Aside from this, there are no requirements or commitments for salvation. Because as we read in Ephesians 2 verses 8 and 9, For it is by grace you have been saved, through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is a gift of God, not by works so that no one can boast. The fact is I can't do anything to deserve or earn salvation. It's a gift. It is freely given for all who believe in Jesus. Question number six, besides not making videos with lists like this one, what do you wish that other Christian YouTubers would do differently? So my channel's not an apologetics channel. Um, but I try to weave faith into some of the content. And I know there's a lot of YouTubers out there who are Christians, but so they're a Christian YouTuber, but their channel doesn't have anything to do with their faith. I would love to see more YouTubers, even if it's a makeup channel or a food channel, to weave their faith into their content. I would just love that. And I will say there are some Christian YouTubers that do a great job of this. I would just love to see it more. And the last question, question number seven. What is the best thing that has happened as a result of your experience as a Christian YouTuber? I never expected myself to be a YouTuber, but since I have started this journey on YouTube, I have met so many other Christians. I have been able to share my faith. I have been able to meet other missionaries and be encouraged by their stories and their um, experiences, almost networking in that sense. And so I would just say the friendships and the relationships have been the best part of what this journey has been as a Christian YouTuber. Well, thank you for sticking with me for those seven questions. Um, it was fun to be able to share outright um, some of my faith that I don't necessarily get to put so boldly in our videos, but it was fun to be able to share that with you guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll put a couple other videos over here that you might enjoy. And we will see you on the next video.